Welcome again. To the Cinema Recaps. Germany is said to have occupied France in June 1940. The film starts with the ideal character, Iwan Rian, driving in a car, and the reaching troops in the machine gun. On the backside send him away for inquiry. He is let it go because he's such a watch retailer. Taking a car, he migrates to a destination. With a great number of airplanes, he enters a room there. A passing officer informs him that the war is over. So being in France is preferable to dying in England. He walks away after saying it. Standing beside, German flyers are talking with one another. As they say, our planning is already complete. At first, we will destroy the Royal Air Force. Then Ewan flies the nearby standing aircraft while sitting there. Flyers run to stop him but Ewan leaves. In the next scene, the pilot officer's place is shown, where the air attacks are continued. They are Squadron 303 Polish pilots, who join the Royal Air Force. They are fighting for the foreign skies. Ewan companions tell him as he arrives, that we continued the war until you stayed there. Ewan says you cannot eradicate them without my help, and he begins to smile. In the next scene, the pilot officer tells Chief Marshal that we are not bombers rather we are fighter pilots. We have shot down many Germans in Poland and it is the experience of your Royal Air Force. Chief Marshal instructs him. Then he leaves saying yes sir. The next scene shows an RAF team pilot who is sitting in the aircraft and he is watching the photo of a lady. Then he takes a flight. He remains in contact with his flyers from the instructional point of view. There is a continuous firing from an aircraft and he drops down his opponent aircraft bravely. An office is shown where two officers are seated. An officer's name is Milo. Coming outside, they notice that Ewan has reached there, taking his RAF team. After some times, going there, a trainer says to them, pay attention brave Polish pilots. He says you are welcomed in RAF. Now it is my duty to teach you. Afterward, Polish pilots are taught a language, because they face language barriers. After that, they are somehow checked, as, eyesight test. Then they are brought to the aircraft. Iwan instructs to open the wheels of the aircraft before landing. Then Iwan says, one thing that is in our knowledge is, how to fly. Commander Milo is continuously conversing with them. Then Polish flyers say to him, Germans are those who are making the victim of our men, and we are doing nothing. A flyer says loudly, my wife and a little girl. Milo is got angry hearing them. He says you all can take a good flight. But other attributes also matter. Which should be the part of you as, unity and discipline. We can win only through these attributes gentlemen. Saying it, Milo leaves for his office. Going inside, he informs his officer that they are facing some issues such as arrogance, irresponsibility and discipline issues. That officer says to him, you are the commander, and you have the authority, so I am leaving all responsibilities of operation to you while relying on you. You will be responsible. Milo asks Iwan, coming outside, is there any problem? Iwan replies same issues as working in reverse and speed. They notice the landing of aircraft badly, and they move to aircraft while running. They notice that the aircraft is covered with mud. The flyer of that aircraft says coming out, it happens due to the wheels. Here it is revealed that they all are training for a war against Germans, because they will have to fight against them. On the other side, German pilot officers are shown. They say, Royal Air Force has been losing power for the last two weeks. And we are stepping into this phase, where we are throwing bombs and they call them victors. Milo, on the other hand, is seen training his Polish pilots, while lady pilots are identifying the location. There is aerial warfare with Germans. Milo quickly commands, back home. He calls it an order. Some of the Germans' aircraft are dropped down. After landing, Polish pilots find that many German pilots have been dead. Iwan lands and covers the dead bodies of the dead bodies with a cloth, saying it, we may be in their place. But the other pilot says, will he do the same good as you are doing with them? Then he says to Iwan, you are half Swish so have the sympathy for Germans. He says we have come here to end Germans, not to pray for them. Saying it, he leaves. Milo arranges a meeting again and tells, we are going to shoot our enemy. You will have to follow everything strictly. The main officers read a message for others. He says, congratulations 303 squadron. Then he says, there is need to be ready, on your part for the coming day operation. Iwan says we will be on a mission tomorrow, and all embrace one another excitedly, all go for training wearing their uniform. The operation is started the next day, and lady pilots are taking their duties. Other aircrafts begin bombing the fighter pilots, but all fight successfully and aerial warfare is started. It is shown that the Royal Air Force team remains in contact with one another, and the pilot of the Air Force drops the flying aircraft of the Germans. On the other side, 
Iwan says to Milo, you know that I am the best. He is still telling that Iwan's friend arrives. He moves to the Royal Air Force team, taking him. And he says, look who is here. All embrace him happily. Iwan comes outside and he is told about the aircraft by a man. That person informs that gun cameras have been installed in the aircraft and it was your idea. Guns reharmonized to 150 yards about 137 meters. But it means that you have to stay closed at a distance and you're going to be hitting it. According to British boys, it will be as precise as a machine gun. The photo of the Royal Navy team is taken the next morning. The buzzer unexpectedly evokes. It is announced that the team should run to their aircraft. The time of operation has approached, and all take flights, and the firing is started through aircraft, while lady pilots hold their seats to identify their area positions. Some of the aircrafts are destroyed, and then a sign appears with the words, refueling and landed. Flight is taken after refueling the aircraft. The bombardment and firing are stopped from one of the members aircraft of Royal Air Force. Opposition's Germans fire on him, leaving him injured and he starts bleeding. After crashing, his plane is swept out to sea, where he visualizes a victim child girl who is smiling. At last, he is drowned in the water. Royal Air Force team is saddened and silent because they had lost their team member. The officer is reading the book, Rudimentary Polish. Then the aerial warfare is again encountered. An aircraft is attacked when the Air Force team are on their flight peacefully. All are alerted. Iwan's aircraft catches fire, but he successfully comes down using an air balloon. While the fire is wrapped around the other team member and he gets injured. In the next scene, a Polish pilot fighter's party is shown. Addressing everyone, Chief Marshal says that, I want to introduce the hostess of this evening to you. He calls a lady who talks to everyone, coming there. She says this evening party is for the brave Polish pilot officers, who fought the aerial warfare in the skies of England for us. Afterward, Iwan says getting angry, you are throwing the bombs in our own cities, shooting and also victimizing us. We're sipping champagne and dropping bombs on our cities. They are butchering us. We are being shot and hanged. He continues to say as such, while Milo keeps him silent, coming there. After a time, Milo comes to that room where the injured pilots are present. One of the pilots' faces is also burnt. He says that a remarkable man always grows. You should be proud of it. On the other side, one more Polish pilot is shown, who is sitting while lighting the candles. They are heartbroken because their loved ones have died. Iwan says to him, coming there, what are you doing here? He replies, I had started to see those people in the aircraft who were like us. Now Milo arranges a meeting with the pilots, and all leave to the flight operation. The second aerial warfare is again started, and many aircraft are destroyed. Now, Royal Air Force pilot calls to mind the past as an old man is shot down. He is still thinking that he is fired. Contrarily, Iwan gets worried, witnessing it. He drops down the opponent's aircraft in anger. The fight continues with the Germans. Now two left aircraft of Polish pilots are observed. One of them is crashed because of the deformity of the engine. Now Iwan is left as the only survivor and the firing is started on him. Lady pilot's eyes are filled with tears seeing the situation of the operation. Now Iwan comes out alive and injured from his drop-down aircraft and he moves to the nearby standing aircraft. He checks that his partner is no more. He is in grief and aggression. In this way, the squadron leader says to other fighter pilots, it was exceptional work, and we are proud of them for what they did or continue. They deserve great gratitude. Those officers leave, saying it. The following scene is set in London, England, in 1946. Iwan is seeing the flying aircraft. It is also shown that he will move to America within three days, leaving this country. In the end, it is told that Squadron 303 were the pilots who got the highest scores in Britain. 145 Polish pilots who were part of the British dropped 203 aircraft, establishing the strength of the Royal Air Force. If you like the video, hit like and subscribe.